Hi everyone, today um, I thought I'd do a live tutorial on um, what is probably quite an old Celtic tune. It's known as She Moved Through the Fair um, and it's got a very haunting melody. It's one of my favourites. So it's actually a lot easier to play than you'd imagine. If you don't know the tune, you can go to my harp video, She Moved Through the Fair and you can listen. I play the instrumental and I sing it as well. So um, if you want to know what it sounds like and whether or not it's a tune you like, that's you know a, a good place to go. It's a very well known tune, so you'll find lots and lots of um, different versions of it. So I'm um, just using my 16 string lyre today. And you can pick up this, as I say, anywhere. I think I've got mine off Amazon or somewhere, but there's, there's, there's loads of them out there really easy to pick up not very expensive so um, mine starts in G if you remember I'm going to be playing in the key of D today um, so I don't know if you remember this from my last tutorial but I've actually painted some of the pegs so that I recognize um, where the D's are more easily and as promised because last time I played left-handed <laughs> I'm going to play right-handed today just to show you that it's possible. Um, there are no set rules for these things. You make the instrument work for you. Everyone's different. So um, today my lower strings are on this side and my higher strings are actually on this side. So it's the opposite really to how I would play my harp. So that's going to be interesting for me. <laughs> so um, the tune really is made up of two separate um, themes or, or mini tunes within the main song and so it's quite simple to learn. I'm going to try and show you some techniques and playing techniques um, while I'm, I'm teaching you the melody as well. So I'm going to find my my first what call is my D string. So I'm going to find my D string, it's here, I remember because I coloured the peg, okay. And I know there's a D string at the bottom here too because I've got 16 strings on here. So I could, if I wanted to, get a bit of a drone going as well. So first of all though, I'm just gonna play the tune and it starts like this. I'm just gonna go to there for now, okay? So all the notes are in order pretty much. So there isn't, there's no big jump in this first part of the tune. So I'm starting on my D and I'm playing the next string along, the next string after that, and the next string after that. Now how you do that is up to you. You can either play with four fingers, so you know if the harpist is among you, you might want to use all four fingers. Okay, that's one way. So to get that first bit right. Or you could take your thumb and slide across all the strings one by one. So I'm gonna show you that. To get those first four notes, okay? And that means you can play it quite quickly once you've got the rhythm in your mind. So, then you're gonna go one back and return to that string and up one. Now for this next bit, I'm going to take three, two, one, because it's quite quick and I want to get my fingers ready, like that. So I prepared my hand, three, two, one, and I played. Okay, so let's do that bit again. Okay. So you can choose which fingers work for you. You can either play like that, where I'm using one, two, three fingers, you know, in, in different formations. Or as I said, you can use that slide. Bear in mind they're metal strings. Um, bear in mind they might um, hurt your fingers a little bit. Um, if you haven't got calluses from playing other instruments, your thumb skin is probably going to be your best option. If you try and play with other fingers, you might find 
to get a bit sore <laughs> if you're trying to slide on metal strings with with um, with your other fingers but your thumb might well be that just a little bit um, a little bit thicker the skin on there for that okay so right so the next thing so we've landed on this string here so that's D E F sharp okay so we're going to use a triad next so I'm going to get my fingers ready and put my third finger on the next string miss a string second finger miss a string first finger okay now if you look at my live my heart tutorials you'll especially the first one I've done I talk a lot about that formation okay and how to practice it so even if you don't play the harp and you want to play the lyre it's worth looking at that harp tutorial to to understand the technique because it's pretty much the same okay okay that's the next bit okay so then i'm going to prepare my fingers that note three times okay so okay and that's the first line and the last line of the song so once you've learned that really well you've pretty much got half the song I'd like to show you now is how to add a drone to that first and last part and the drone is going to be on a D if you've got a 16 string lyre if you if you've got a lyre with um, fewer strings not might not be able to do this um, but you could always um, get a, a drone going on another instrument or you know um, record yourself playing a drone and, and then add it in but if you wanted to play the drone at the same time it would go like this going to move that D drone one string down and return to the D. So my drone is just two two different notes. It's the D and the note before it. Okay? See. Really easy. Okay? Now you can choose. You can either alternate using that first finger to play that drone or well, I use I do that because it means I can hold the lyre in place without dropping it. <laughs> but um, you could also use two different fingers as well. Okay, so you've got options there depending on your dexterity and what you feel comfortable with. Okay, so let's play that again. part one of she moved through the fair okay so um really really nice and, and simple tune to learn the notes are pretty much close together no no huge jumps as yet okay so um you're really just maneuvering up and down the lyre and your drone is just two two strings there so you can even have those ready prepared or you can have your finger on one and then just know that you're moving back one and then up again one so it's not a big jump at all okay so happy practicing I'll put the notes down below and if there are any questions if you like the tutorial and want to see more of these um, do let me know it's it's hard to know what people like and what they don't or if, if there's anything you'd like me to explain um, uh, a little bit better or more clearly uh, or demonstrate very happy to do that as well and um, as I say, if you're enjoying the tutorials, don't forget to subscribe and click like so that um, I know you like and enjoy the, tu the tutorials, but also that you don't miss um, me posting up new ones because I'm going to try and do different tunes here and there. If there are any requests uh, for tunes also, you know, let me know so that um, 
I can go give those out and see see if um, I can get a tutorial up for you on those. So leave any comments down below, that'd be great. And have a lovely day, happy practicing, and I'll post the second part of this tutorial up um, soon, hopefully in a few days. Right, take care, bye.